So today I'm talking about a Toyota with the P0500 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a Toyota P0500 code? Well, it's a vehicle speed sensor A. And what does this mean? Well, there's a sensor or sensors that report to the onboard computer how fast the vehicle's going. And the onboard computer's seeing an issue with one of these sensors. And so it's gonna have to be troubleshooting know why. And some common symptoms when this code comes up is like the ABS lights might come on, traction control lights might come on, and the speedometer may or may not work. And this code can be kind of problematic to troubleshoot, especially if you don't have a good OBD2 scan tool. If you just have a low cost scan tool, it might not be reading all the codes, mainly the transmission codes. And so if you do have a low cost OBD2 scan tool, either try to get a hold of a scan tool that can read transmission codes, or go to an automotive store and see if they could do a scan to tell you if they could read any transmission codes. Because the low cost OBD2 scan tools usually can't read transmission codes, which can help to troubleshoot what's wrong with the vehicle. And so what are some possible causes? Well, it could be an ABS wheel speed sensor, could be the transmission speed sensor, could be the ABS module, there might be something wrong with the wiring, and it could also be a faulty ECM. And so one of the first things to do when you get this code is to test all the ABS wheel speed sensors, because depending on the Toyota, sometimes they use those sensors as the input information for the transmission. Sometimes there's a sensor built into the transmission, and sometimes they use these ABS wheel speed sensors. It's gonna vary. It's gonna depend on the Toyota, the year, the model, and things like this. But the first thing to do is to go test these wheel speed sensors and be sure they're all working correctly. If you have a good OBD2 scan tool, it should be fairly easy. You go through and select all the wheel speed sensors, and then you can drive the vehicle around and just see if they all have the same values. You can also use a multimeter to test the wheel speed sensors. And while that can't help, it wouldn't tell you if there's something wrong with the wiring. So you might go around and test all the wheel speed sensors. They might show good and you might have a problem in the wiring. So if possible, try to use an OBD2 scan tool to be sure they're all working correctly. There's some good YouTube videos on how you can go about doing that. But the first thing to do is to make sure that all those ABS wheel speed sensors are all working properly and that there's no issues there. The next thing to test for is gonna be the transmission speed sensor. And these will be located on or in the transmission. The older Toyotas use this little gear right here to spin it, and those quite common commonly would go bad. And again, if you have a good OBD2 scan tool, you'll be able to pull this up and read the values and be sure that it's all working correctly. But the next thing to go and do is to verify that that speed sensor that's located on or in the transmission is working correctly. And so if you go through and you test all those speed sensors, then the next thing to go and look at is gonna be the ABS module. This will be located up inside the engine compartment. And again, a good OBD2 scan tool will be able to test the ABS module. You should be able to go in and activate different valves and things like this. You'll be able to hear them turn on when you go to activate them. But the next thing to go and check out is gonna be that ABS control module. And keep in mind, any bad wiring going to any of these components, all the way around to the wheel speed sensors, up to the ABS control module, all the way to the onboard computer. If there's any kind of wiring issue, then it can cause issues. And so that'll be something to keep in mind. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a Toyota with the P0500 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.